Hi everyone, I am here and I will present our second solution to the COVID-19 detection challenge. And my presentation will cover four parts. First, I will interview our team and then I will summarize our solution and then go to detail. Our team name is A Team and we have private little box coin 0 0.634 and we are in the second place. Our team has five members and we are working in the industry related to computer vision and data science. All of us hold an advanced degree and we have competed in many computer vision competitions in the past and they definitely have a success. In this uh, competition, we are required to detect the COVID uh, situation in both study level and image level. For study level, we build two pipelines and the final prediction is just average common to cost of these two pipelines. In the first pipeline, we use high class classification model and uh, backbone in this pipeline is NSNet and CAIT. In the second pipeline, we use four-class classification with uh, AUS head and we use SNNet B2M at backbone. For image level, we combine three famous protein detection models, YOLO V5, YOLO S, and Everything that defines, and then we we'll combine the following box by our modified weighted box fusion. This diagram is a uh, uh, detail of our uh, two pipeline for study level. And for image level, we use five YOLO V5 models, two YOLO S models, and one everything that model, and then we combine the output from a capacity detection model by weighted population. Net features uh, selection and engineering. And from the given training data set, we are we generated uh, mark to train our uh, AUS head in our uh, second pipeline and we we find that apply this type of multi task learning improve our uh, classification performance. But uh, using the inference, we only submitted the label and the marks are discard discarded. Besides the mark, we also generate the heat map. Uh, this heat map is used to train our capacity detection model and as we can see here, uh, the heat map shows the location probability of uh, opacity and applies it uh, at the additional output and improve our model performance. And that is our training method. For study level, we have two pipelines and here are the training methods for pipeline one. In this pipeline, we retain our backbone with NIH dataset, and then we try to turn our uh, retain model on the composition data. And by applying this retain model, we can improve our CV score and little box score significantly. Besides for provided targets, we added a fifth class to detect one class, and this also improve our accuracy for this pipeline. In the pipeline two, we perform two step training. In step one, we train our model with Kaggle training dataset, and then we predict label for bicom and record dataset. And in step two, we train our model with a short pseudo label of ethanol dataset and original label from Kaggle training set. And in this step, we use binary cost and to fill up. For image level, we combine three detection ar architecture in our solution. For YOLO S and everything that defined, we use the default architecture and we customize uh, the augmentation. For YOLO V5, we add this two more heads 
two glass glass cases has to detect whether there is a work in the input or not. And we also add a IUS to detect a problem box location box probability. And in this uh, head, we use the heat, heat map to train our model. Our final submission was an assemble. Our best performing third level model is ECA and SNET L1, which achieved 0.58 CV and 0.4 out of this completed ball. Our best performing opacity detection model is Yolo V5 with redness 100 and one bad ball, which achieved 0.54 MAP in a CV. Our best non class classification is two class model with uh, IUS model, which achieved 0.805 CV and 0.135 public visible. And after ensemble sitting 30 level models, we achieved 0.604 CV and 0.41 public visible. Ensemble A opacity detection model achieved CV 0.559 public visible. And Finite in CV and probability the boss score is 0.1. At example 2, two class classification models with negative score from first level gave us 0.822 CV and 0.134 probability the boss. And combine the prediction from third level and image level give us 0.66 CV. 0.645 public little ball and 0.634 private little ball. And that's all about our solution. Thanks for listening.